So tonight we just had game two of the NBA Finals. And this was another interesting game. You know, a lot of people are wondering, how's Golden State going to respond? They dropped the first game in Toronto. And it just feels like they're going to have to steal. Well, they have to steal one on the road to have a mathematical shot in the series. But many people believe, and I personally believe, that, you know, if they really were serious, really thought that they can win the series, they're going to have to steal one tonight, even without Kevin Durant on the court. So let me just go over what happened during the game. And let's see what happened. So first off, again, what did you expect? You had the same starting five for Golden State, same starting five for Toronto. Albeit, Toronto made a couple smart decisions, you know, on the bench, but I'll get to that later. You have a very tight game after the first quarter. It still feels like the teams are trying to feel each other out. I mean, they've already had a game against each other in this series, but, you know, same time, Golden State may be a bit antsy, a little too scared to make mistakes. I mean, they're down a game, and if they feel like they're out of it early, then they're like, oh, we're down two games, and forget about winning the series. So they had to play more smart. They had to play slower, which is usually not really Golden State style. Golden State just likes running up and down the court and hitting threes. That's how their game works. They operate to score 130 points a game. And if they can do that, they win. And if they don't, then they feel like they have a shot to lose. But again, having to play a weird differently is going to affect your team's performance. And I believe that's part of what kept the Raptors in the game early. In a game in which it still felt like Golden State should win, even with their disadvantages, with their injuries, with Boogie Cousins not being 100%, with Andre Iguodala not being 100%. But again, like last game, you have some great support off the bench for Golden State. Like I said, Elmo comes right back in, gets a nice... 25 points off the bench. I mean, you don't usually see that from the Warriors. You usually expecting the Splash Brothers to do it, or when he's healthy, Durant to score a crap ton of points. But again, the bench helped to get Elmo comes in and is like, Square this up, motherfuckers. I mean, I think he got another technical foul. I mean, he's got a big mouth. What'd you expect? And Toronto, like I said, getting some good bench support this week. They called Jesus Christ onto the court at one point. And I mean, he seems like the type of person, like, instinctively, he's like, well, he should start anywhere. But again, he's the type of person that really feels more like a peacemaker. A peacemaker, a peace player. He'll go in, and you can count on him 20 minutes a night. He's not someone you're throwing for 44, 45 minutes, expecting him to carry your team. Although many people want him to carry them on their back, on his back. He's just not going to let you do that. But again, I think he got, like, 15 points. He got a handful of rebounds. You know, and I mean, Golden State's not going to go down like that. They got even more bench support. They got, I believe, I'm trying to remember what his name was. I think it was something like Gerzorg Glasgowak or something. He's a weird alien thing. He comes in. He gets a couple dunks. He shuts up the crowd, which is a good thing to do with Amp be the North crowd of Toronto. And again, Toronto, you know, they're like, we got to take our Canadian heritage seriously. So they put a goddamn polar bear on the fucking court. I mean, who's going to try to drive the lane when there's a goddamn polar bear staring at you? So, of course, I mean, Golden State got shit to paint in the second half. And that's how Toronto won the game again, you know? Steve Kerr was like, well, we're good at shooting threes, but, I mean, if you're forced to shoot threes, you're naturally going to feel a little antsy. I mean, you can't just rely on throwing it in the middle and getting points that way. So, Toronto wins. 100 to 93. It was just a disaster for Golden State. It's a good thing for the NBA. I think it's good we have some parity finally. Someone is finally going to knock off Golden State. What do you guys think? Do you think that Golden State still has a shot? We're going back to Oracle Arena. Toronto up two games to none. So what are you guys' opinions? Do you think Golden State has a shot? Do you think Toronto has this wrapped up? Do you welcome your Canadian overlords? Leave your comments down below. Please like, please subscribe. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.